Hello all you young, beautiful, sexy people. What are you doing, man? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're watching Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk. Press tour. So I think they're in Saudi Arabia right now. <clears throat> this is the same place Joshua came to get his revenge against Andy Ruiz, the second fight in uh, Diria. The clash on the dunes. Into boxing in the next four years. So the point is, while a lot of people think that Saudis are best for the sport, it's for all sorts of other reasons. And the reality is, in the country, right, there's a transformation going on, and kids, boys, and girls are being inspired by these sorts of things. Okay, well, the Hey, that's Joshua, man. How big he looks. Lucky this time he looks big, man. It looks bigger than the first fight. Because in the first fight, it looks like he was skinny. You know? It looks like it's getting bigger, his shoulders getting bigger, his arms. Dude, I really hope Anthony wins. There's Usek. He looks a bit bulky. Bulky? I, uh, I'm not taking uh, an account of uh, my... Uh, Usek undefeated it's, uh, South Pole Cruiserweight. Undisputed. Uh, it's war, war, war. Former undisputed uh, Cruiserweight. Knocked out Tony Bellio in Manchester. Yeah. Marius Bradis who's coming next week to Dubai, fight in Australia. We fought him in too. The weather, in terms of the time zone as well. But you know AJ will be out here nice and early. He's comfortable here. You know he had a great experience beating Andy Ruiz here. He had no problems coming back for this fight. Um, he's calm. You know as they both are. Both very experienced fighters. I don't think anything's really going to phase them. Especially not Alexander Usyk. It's going to come down to August 20th and who can execute the right game plan on the night. Anthony, Anthony needs to be himself, you know, he needs to believe in himself. I think, uh, I think what, I'm, what I'm here doing... Robert Garcia. His, his best qualities, his big techniques out, you know. New trainer. He, he was going Joshua. back a little too much uh, in the previous fight, like he says, you know, he was focusing on just boxing and boxing, but he could also be an aggressive fighter and he could also, he could also box even in this fight, you know. We might even end up having to box a little bit, but, you know, he if he's going to be aggressive, he's going to be the big. Height, the reach to be aggressive too. So, so we're working on everything together. You know, and the main thing is that he's listening. You know, we sit down and, and watch vid, uh, videos together. We watch our uh, sparring together, and uh, he's there listening and writing down his notes to to work on it. You know, so that's one thing that uh, really, you know, uh, inspires me to even work harder because I got I got a fighter that wants to win. You know, he has to let his hands go more. He has to damage yes. Alexander Usyk whenever he can. And he, has he has to, to go to the body. I don't think Alexander Usyk likes getting hit. I don't think he liked getting hit in the first fight. He didn't get hit much. So AJ's got to take the chances when they present himself. He's got to be smarter. But he's got to let himself, he's let his hands go. I think this fight will be a lot more exciting than the first fight. Because AJ shared 12 rounds now. He understands the skills and the, the attributes of Alexander Usyk. And he has to negate that with, with his assets which is his power, his speed, his combination punching. Mm, he said that combination. None, but certainly I believe you're going to see a much more aggressive Anthony Joshua in this fight. Uh, I, uh, I've seen a lot in Anthony. I got to know him as a person. And, uh, and I just need to get Aggressive. How to Smart aggressive. What he can do. You know, he already, <clears> like I told you, he already is one of the most talented heavyweights in the division. He just needs to bring it out and show it to the world. Rage on the Red Sea. 
August the 20th in Jeddah. In the Superdome. It's been a long time coming. In Saudi Arabia. We saw Anthony Joshua rematch Andy Ruiz and regain his World Heavyweight Championship in Riyadh. And it was a tremendous event. And of course, the boxing world and the sporting world slowed right down through Dude, that looks the COVID nice. pandemic. But now we're back, long overdue, and we're delighted to bring what is the biggest fight in the heavyweight division, one of the biggest fights in world boxing. Wow, look to at Joshua's arms. In August. I wish I could be in Diria right now so I could watch the fight, you know. I mean, I want to go watch the fight. Looks like a nice place. Finish. Okay. Yeah, let's like look the way first, man, in that uh, stair down. Oh, what's going on? Not high I don't know, you can't take much from that. But I wish I looked the way too in the other ones. So. Looks like it's 36, I think, almost 36, 35. So it's not in his prime. Guys, guys, quiet, please! Alright, good luck, everybody. Joshua was 32. Still young. He was 31 in the. Joshua was 31 in the first one. He's at the left. He's 10 pounds. 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 You know what, we've worked with him a lot though. Big legs, legs for power, big arms. Is that what you say? Is that the problem? From Bromley? And Tordens, when they put your tats, I think. No, you don't even need big arms. All the things that he's been in that you wouldn't even know. Do you know what I'm saying? He's been with Lynx, he's been with Under Armour, he's been with Lucas Aid. Who else? Glow, Nigerian program, Saudi now. He's a lot. Cool guy. It's not that. Mm. It's not that. He was moaning about how heavy it was. He was moaning. No, nothing. You. What? Dude, that looks like Thor's hand. How'd you do it? How'd you do it? How'd you do it? Is that the Superdome in Saudi Arabia? In Jeddah. Saudi Arabia. In the kingdom. Joshua is like mm, training for power, man. Did you see that? Look at him going up the stairs. He's trying to do the Mike Tyson quick movements, you know? Get inside with Alexander. Looks like I'm bust him up to the body, man. That's what he has to do, man. He's to bust him up. I don't know. What's that? We get on his bike and, boop, 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 and go around on those angles. He's like a scary clown, for a sec. But Joshua has the power, the size, and the reach and strength advantage. He has to press. And he has to run the right hand and force Osek to fight. Osek wants to do this chess match. This kid touching him. Usek, the Southpaw Cats. My son, how are you? Hey, Daddy. How old is your son? Huh? How old? Uh, nine and seven. Really Good night. Hey, Daddy. Your power? <laughs> I know. I don't know. Maybe. I'm feeling. Yeah, your power. 
I'm feel pumped. I can please uh, you message. Yeah, big coming on me. Look at in the mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> play, play box? No, football. Oh, yeah. Box uh, sometime. His English is not very good. Sounds like cool. I don't know. Ukraine. I don't know. That's where it's from. Look at Joshua, man. He looks um, the same physique as the Eric Molina fight. Wow. Toes is shedding the body. Usek is a cruiserweight. He is the smaller man. Joshua is the naturally bigger man. And the strength and the size advantage. Wow, look at that angle, look how big Joshua looks. Joshua is really like training for power. The best person. Because also can't get any better than he was last time, you know. You know, he'll be as good as he was last time. Saudi Arabia, Anthony Joshua, Utah Midway Champion. This is past his prime. And Joshua, you can 